the super. I love that. That's super. Oh my god! Oh my god! Layla, Layla, uh, Layla Hua is the same. Layla way. Hua. Yeah, I got. It. I have. I have my sticky note up for the <laughs> for the uh, <laughs> pronunciation of it. No, I got it. I got prepare, it. prepare for a lot of those. <laughs> no worries. So, uh, yeah, these schools are super nice. They put everyone in the proper order. I even told them just uh, do whatever you need to, whatever whatever order desired. And they did this. They wanna they wanna look <laughs> like LCS teams. I love that because that makes my job easier. Anyway. So far, we got some defensive stances going up, and I was mentioning how Jax could possibly go in the, toward the bottom. Looks like he and use that teleport for p a possible jungle invade, which uh, you know wouldn't be a bad idea considering they have Thresh, which uh, you know landed a death sentence would more than likely be a death sentence for anybody in the early yeah right in the early going. No, it was well put. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That was, a, that was nice. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, defensive stance is a line of scrimmage at the river. No problem. I and know. This is uh this is pretty. It's like a military going on. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna fire the first shot? <laughs> Although uh, it's interesting to note, Leona is top lane, so I wonder if there will be a lane switch. Oh yeah, that's lane true. Swap. That would actually, that would kind of mess up Jack squad a bit. Um, I mean, he can start. He can he can farm under tower a little bit with his uh with his uh, empowered strike. So I don't actually. I you know I said that it would mess up. It might not actually do too bad. Both of them are pretty decent. Uh, Solo laners, uh, yeah, 1v2ers rather, I should say. Let's see how it works out. Yeah. Alright, pretty average stuff. People just forming for their buffs yeah, for right like, now. Looks like there will be a lane swap, as uh, Great Say a Man. Nice Dragon Ball Z reference going up top lane. <laughs> how do you think Shivana is going to fare bot lane against the. Uh uh, the Vayne and the Thresh. Well, the one thing about Vayne is I don't think they did this because of the of the top laners. I think they did this because of Vayne. Vayne is not a pusher unless you get a static shiv, and I mean even then she's still pretty slow. So um, I think I think um, uh, who, what team is that? Layla Hua. <laughs> Layla Hua. I think Layla Hua is looking to shove up top lane a lot. As Sivir is a huge pusher with her uh, ricochet and boomerang blade. I think they're just. I think they're doing that in response to to super. Ka, uh, ka, wait, how do you how do you pronounce that K word? I see that all the time. Oh, which one? Uh, super uh, vain, vain. What how do you pronounce her name? Vain. Oh, Kawaii. Kawaii. Yeah, I see that. I see yeah. that. I'm an idiot. I, That's I, a I, Japanese thing. I know. I see that all the time. I know it is. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> it means judge me. Cute man. I know. I know. I know. I know. Super cute. I know. I always see like the Asian girls, super kawaii or whatever it's called. Yeah, kawaii. Uh, kawaii. Kawaii. Uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that. Yeah. Yeah, Vane. Back on track. Yeah, no worries. What I'm trying to get at is that Vane isn't the best pusher, and. Uh, like I said, I think I think they did that in order to uh, shove up the, bo the top lane a lot faster, attract uh, Ari Yeezy up there like they're actually doing right now, and uh, they're going to get a tower advantage early. I don't think they're doing that in response to the uh, top laners. They're doing that in response to the to the uh, marksman uh, choice from uh, Layla Hua. Looks like a slight gain coming up top lane, or just Li Shen just trying to uh, trying to push the lane away from the tower. Yeah, he even uses smite there and uh, takes away. Yeah. And man, now that I say that. I mean, uh, super, uh, uh, Kawaii. Kawaii, yeah, super Kawaii actually is shoving in more with Thresh, uh, with Thresh in the bottom lane. But there is a gank in the middle lane there. Looks like, uh, Savati's in the bad uh -oh, position Friday. there. Camera goes top. I don't know why, but actually, it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, Savati get, uh, gets away anyways. So, uh, yeah, that's the great thing about Gragas. He has that, uh, he has that escape that can get through those walls. Yeah, body slam. No worries. Easy peasy. No worries. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But, uh, Looks like Pantheon is coming up top lane. Yeah. Trying to, uh, maybe go for the Li Shen in the jungle. I'll say this will have to be a tower dive as uh, as uh, Super Great Saiyan Man Sprigster has has the lane shoved up pretty far. But he yeah he's actually just gonna go bluntly right in their face in top lane. It's gonna looks like maybe he's just gonna try to push the tower down. I mean yeah. Just cool. having another body up there. Yeah, just intimidate Matt up there, Jax. But, uh, oh, gets, gets a little bit of damage onto onto uh onto Pantheon, but it blocks that uh. Blocks that tower shot, no problem with his passive. Yeah, that passive, too good. Yeah, that actually is very good for tower dives. Like I said, you can I mean, mitigate a tower shot, no problem. It's, it's yeah. a, it makes life a lot easier. But yeah, they're just going to shove 3v1 into that top lane, try to bust down that turret early. They really want this tur turret down. Yeah, well, like I said, they they saw that uh, Super Kawi, uh, Hawaii, Ka Kawaii, 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 Kawaii. Yeah, it's like Hawaii, yeah. except Kawaii. Yeah, I just got to remember Yeah, that. just put a K there. Yeah, so they saw that Super Kawaii and uh, uh, Quesadilla was... Kind of shoving in a little, little bit harder than uh, Great Sam and Sprigster, so 
I think he's going up there just to uh, even it out right now. Looks like a... Yeah, cause the... yeah, Pantheon, dangerously low though. I mean, he took yeah. a tower shot for once and... I don't know, Jax might be able to jump on him. I don't know if he has the damage though to burst him down fast enough. Yeah, if Jax, if Jax goes on him and dies, then that would be a guaranteed turret down. That'd but... be, yeah. Yeah, it looks like both turrets are about the same health uh, level of health right now. And the thing is, is that uh, our Yeezy isn't really taking much advantage of uh, a Pantheon's presence up top. He knows where Pantheon's at, but he's been sticking in his own jungle, not counter ganking any lanes, not helping Jax. It doesn't really because it's still two v three up top, not really helping anybody. And uh, I don't really think he's taking advantage of this right now. He knows where Pantheon is. So he could take some of his jungle, take a uh, you know gank other lanes, but. Either way, both turrets going down almost simultaneously, top and bottom, so that's one turret to one so far. That was well timed. Yeah, well. By both teams there. Yeah. No, uh, Aryuzi definitely, as a Lee Sin, he should be traveling a lot more. I mean, he has the mobility. Um, I feel like he should be able to, he should be ganking at least a little bit more. It looked like he was just kind of farming in his jungle for the most of the time. Yeah, and I mean, that is one of the things, like I said, you get these 2v1 lanes and you see the jungler coming up to help or going somewhere to help. I mean, that's. That has one of the uh, one of the benefits of two v ones. You can attract the jungler's attention, and that usually allows you to take advantage. But uh, our Yeezy's taking a uh, taking a little easy. Uh, not really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Going by his name, you know, our yeah. Yeezy taking it easy. Yeah. <laughs> He's a yeah. I'll, I'll pa passively probably... passively farming. Yeah, this game is full of puns. I'm glad about that. <laughs> but uh, uh, but yeah, he's. He's uh, taking it slow. I'll, I'll avoid the pun here. Taking it slow and uh, just kind of farming his lane, farming up to level six. He's at level five now. He's got a level advantage on a uh, on a Dyfi Ice Man. So I mean, I guess it's, I mean it's paying off so far. But in turrets, well, are going it looks like he's going for a dragon now. I mean, if he can get the dragon, it would it would help a lot. It looks like both of the bot laners are coming in to help. Yeah, and that is one of the advantages of also having the two v one in bot lane, is that you have the extra help for dragon. And uh, well played by. Uh, We'll, we'll play by Kaiser, so they're going to pick up the first dragon of the game. There's no vision from uh, uh, Layla, Lua, uh, Layla Hua, and that is yes. dragon, first dragon going over to uh, to Kaiser at seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good get for them. Yeah, so... Uh, so oh, it looks like a huge gank in the mid lane. Yeah, uh, oh. not much. Uh, I mean, Descent's uh, landing onto oh. him. Super Kawi there. Uh, Kawaii, Kawaii. I got it, Kawaii. Kawaii. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is terrible. I'm gonna. I'm just really showing my ignorance here. It's, it's some tough, tough names here. For you know, I don't blame you. Yeah, I'm just from Ohio. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just from Ohio. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No uh, worries. Yeah. No. I, you know, I grew up in the mixing pot of cultures. Like, yeah. I should. If I'm not able to pronounce a few of these names, then that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's alright. Oh. Uh, but yeah, there, there was a gang. Destin's landed. Not really much happening to follow it up. So there's a. Five men in mid lane for uh, what was that? Yeah, Layla Layla Hua. Actually, looks yep. like a looks like a crazy Saiyan man and Daifu Ice Man gonna branch off and, and Daifu Ice Man might be swinging around bot lane. Might be uh might be trying to push that push that bot lane turret. Jax has been deprived of a little bit of farm, but so is uh so is Shyvana, But uh actually they're about the same. So they're gonna come in if they go back to top lanes respectively. They're gonna come in even. But it's hard to tell really because Savetti's swinging around bot lane. I'm not really sure what they're doing with lanes. It's not really much of a laning phase, more than just a roaming phase at this point. Yeah, I feel like everybody is roaming simultaneously right now, which, yeah, is, uh, which is kind of odd. Yeah, but. it was good coordination. I don't I don't know if they're planning. <laughs> you can never tell if they're planning or not, but uh, I mean... I don't really know what their long con is here, but, not really sure. you know, they're just having a good time. Yeah, yeah, and that, that is the important part about these tournaments, especially high school tournaments. Just build some... Uh, Build some uh, reputation amongst yourselves in the uh, in the district, and just meet some new friends, meet some new people, and uh, just have fun. Yeah. And uh, also push mid tower, I guess. Yeah, push mid tower and uh, get jumped on by jacks and a barrel thrown in your face. That's what these tournaments are all about. That's essentially what high school was for me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of barrels getting thrown in my face. Fair enough. Oh, there's a super ka kawaii is actually sta I actually said it pro proper that time. Super Kawaii yeah, no. sta staying Congrats. bot lane, getting some solo XP. There was a spell shield blocking out the Destins from Quesadilla. So, uh, this is only going to benefit Super Kawaii as uh, he's getting solo experience, solo gold, surpassing uh, surpassing Great Saiyan Man in farm right now. And uh, going get, gonna to get a little bit of advantage. Has the gold lead by only about 300 gold, but if he stays down there by himself, it's only going to get bigger. Yeah, and getting a lot of farm for Vayne is vitally important. Well, and with any marksman, but yeah. especially for Vayne. I mean, Vayne really needs it. Yeah. Very, uh, very 
Very farm dependent. One of those one of those champions that doesn't need to get kills. Always best if you do, but yeah, definitely relying on farm. Descent, uh -oh, laying on Death the Ice Man. And they get to get this exploded first blood going over to Quesadilla. And that might be. That was be a very late first blood, by the way. Yeah, 10 minutes in. It's not minutes. Gonna, oh, there's a tower shot. Not going to be enough to get the mid lane turret, but they did do quite a number on it, so. It'll just be a. Gonna keep pressuring this. Keeping three men in mid. As, uh, I guess with the roaming phase here, there's not really much to gank as far as lanes for the junglers. Yeah, that was a great death sentence, by the way. I mean, oh, yeah. that's, you know, it's really the strength of Thresh is that, that hook, man. It's oh. just so powerful. Oh, oh my oh. god, there was a great soul oh, flare geez. followed by a shockwave. Man drop coming out. Super Kaiwei getting in there. He's alts out. And no. Uh, on the hunt from Great Saiyan, man. Probably going to take him down. No, there's a tumble and the, all the uh, stealth coming out. Flash as well. Boomerang Blade picks up the kill for Great Saiyan, man. That was a that was an incredible shockwave solar flare. That was yeah, that was intense. That was an intensely good Oriana ult right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it got pretty much everybody in that entire team. Yeah, everyone in the mid lane. Then them followed up by the man drop. That that was a great answer to the uh, to the first blood. First bloods aren't super important now. Objectives, towers, a lot more important. There's a Zenith umbrella on the Quesadilla. He's gonna melt. Defy Iceman picks up the kill. Matt's in there. Twirling his Counter Strike. <laughs> Not really much happening. That's going to be mid lane turret. More than likely going down in favor of uh, Layla Hua. Or no, 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 no. That yeah, that was yeah, Layla Hua. Yeah, yeah. Layla Hua, yeah. Yeah. That was a great counter attack, though. I mean, it looked like the, the Kaiser got a little too close to Layla Hua's tower, and they just took advantage. And uh, that was probably the best it could have gone for them. Yeah, for sure. So answering it back, there's. Oh, that did not stop the. Uh, not oh, that wasn't that 0.5 second um, invulnerability thing. Yeah. He should have should have kicked though. He should have gone for it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go Ham Taro. I really just hope never I, stop. I don't even know if I could have kept up with it because I, I, I don't know. I would want to keep up with the uh, with him flying across the map with that. <laughs> Either way, yeah, a little aggression going down mid lane um, seems pretty safe though. Yeah, and there's a there's a super K, uh, kawaii staying back in bot lane farming and farming. And, uh, That's his only job. It's what he needs to do. Yeah, I mean, he's died once to get in the mid lane. He's probably like, eh, I'll just let you guys do that. You know, what? I'll come back in about 20 minutes as a huge powerhouse. And uh, that's kind of what uh, that's kind of what uh, Kaiser is playing to right now. You have Jax and you have Vayne, both super late carries, who uh, you know just need a need a solid farm uh, laning phase to really pick themselves up. I mean, Jax has been kind of deprived of that. He's trying to get back into it. As uh, both top laners have finally bent to their went to their uh, respective top lanes and are meeting each other, and uh, I think they're just trying to farm up and trying to get to that late game. I, I think Kaiser wants to make it to the late game because that's when Jax and that's when Vayne, that's when they're gonna, that's when they're gonna destroy. Yeah, Kaiser is definitely uh, much more of a late or late game team comp. Um, maybe Layla who less so with the the Pantheon who kind of falls off. Yeah. But uh, you never know. I mean. Layla Hua definitely wants to get that early game advantage, and they, they've somewhat got it. They have a 400 gold lead, um, and another or a tower in their favor. So yeah, one you tower, know. one tower to two, and Dragon just came up. So we'll see if uh, who the second Dragon goes to. First one did go over to Kaiser. Is uh, that is one of the things that our easy took advantage of with Tantheon and uh, Daifei Iceman in the top lane. He was able to get a, a quick Dragon out of it. And it looks like they're going to move back over to the Dragon. They had it timed. There's again no vision from. Uh, from Layla Hua. Now they took out that pink wars, but they know they're there. They just don't know really how to kind of yeah. circle around them. So might be seeing a dragon fight here. There's Solar Flare coming out. Dragon does go over to Kaiser there. There's another great shockwave. Man drop coming in. Explosive oh my cast gonna knock out a couple people, but it's not enough. Double kill going over support. Sprigster, Leona, Quesadilla in a bad position. Boomerang Blake picking up the kill for Great Saiyan, man. So that was a three for zero. That they was did. a three for zero. They got dragon. Probably not worth at this point though. No, unfortunately not. They're going to be able to push another tower down with this mid lane pushing. That was this Leona is ripping it up <laughs> yeah, in more zero, ways than one. Two zero four picking up a double kill there. I don't even know what, it, what she got the kills with, but it doesn't matter. I have no idea. As, uh, yeah, it was, was impressive though. It was very well timed for the mid lane put a uh, mid lane wave to be where it was picking up those kills. And yeah, like you said, going to be able to pick up another tower, one tower to three, and that was an inner mid lane turret. That is a huge map control objective for uh, Layla Hua at this point. Yeah, Layla is definitely going to be able to have the vision over most of the map right now. I really do like this their comp with the Oriana and uh, Leona ults. I think that's really intelligent. I don't, you know, I've been out of the game for a while, so it's kind of it's it's fun to see all these things that I don't know maybe that have uh, risen uh, or lately. Yeah, Severe's actually been a huge popular, a very popular uh, 
uh, Marksman because of On the Hunt. She has kind of a weak laning phase. And of course, when you 2v1 it, you almost eliminate that weak laning phase. Are easy stealing away that blue and uh, getting out of the way. Uh, meanwhile, Super uh, Kawaii picking up a picking up a turret. But um, uh, yeah, you kind of eliminate the uh, the weak laning phase of Severe. And the big big benefit of having her on the team in late game is On the Hunt. You have your big tanks like Leona and uh, and Shyvana. They can get on the hunt. Is everything all right? Oh yeah, I've, uh, never mind. Uh, you can get, you can get yeah. the. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. You can, uh, <laughs> you can get on the hunt. You have that big tank line that just is in your face, especially with Shyvana in dragon form, with uh, a big speed boost and a dragon form. It's it's very intimidating to the enemy team. That's a fast dragon. Yeah, it's a fast dragon. It's a damaging dragon. It's AOE. Like I said, benefit of being in a, a top laner these days. Uh, one of the big fours that you can just sit there in team fights, and uh, just proc AOE damage. Like constantly, she has burnout. She has sunfire cape now. In dragon form, she has a trail of AOE as well with her uh, <laughs> with her burnout fire trail. So yeah. she's just pooping fire everywhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So as you can see, I mean, Jax even has trouble. I mean, killing a Shyvana at this point. I mean, it's, it's, uh, this game's heavily in the favor of Layla Hua. The gold lead's not that big, but it's a uh, two turrets to three, one oh, one kill to six. I mean, I I, I the numbers I, don't yeah. lie. Yeah, I, mean. I do favor. I do favor the, the uh, do favor the team fight right now of Layla Hua because of uh, their their synergy they've had. I've seen two great shockwaves in a row. That, that's pretty amazing. So, I mean, props to Eternal Blade 808. I think it's, I haven't even mentioned them this time. 005, and those are all because of shockwaves. Yeah, I really. Um, I think Kaiser again though. Their their main. Uh Strategy here is just going to try to survive yeah. until the you know 40, 50 minute mark where the their carries can really shine. Yeah, and um, I mean, Super Kawaii, he's he's still farming, still farming that bot lane, no problem, taking out the yeah turret, man, not letting it stop he's him. He's got that blade of the rune king. I mean, he his build is it's going. I mean, he's died twice, which is somewhat of a setback, but. As long as he farms hard enough, he can he can make up for it. Yeah, he's just trying to like he's just trying to solo it, trying to take as much jungle as possible. And uh, Jax is doing almost the exact same thing up top lane. Just, I mean, yeah, like you said, both teams just looking to make it to late game, trying to avoid team fights right now. They're they've seen that they're getting caught over objectives, and uh, they're trying to just not deal with it right now. Trying to keep the trying to keep the game at their own pace. Yeah, it does look like a uh, bot lane. They're gonna try to go for this bottom tower. At least uh, with Sivir, they she you know she has maximum pushing power, so yeah. I think any lane she is is going for their tower. But well, Super Kawaii down there by herself, by himself. I don't know if uh, I, I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's she's gonna be able to defend that tower. Thresh is making his way down. KCD, I should say. KCD is making his way down there, trying to make it even it up. But uh, Savetti and Aryezy, I'm not sure. Aryezy might be looking for a gank and bot lane as well. There are no wards being covered in the river from uh, from Layla Hua. No, but it does look like bot lane. Layla who is kind of yeah. just you know retreating. They know something's up. Yeah. Let's see how it works out. Like I said, kind of an odd laney phase. Almost no laney phase. It's just kind of a laney phase for top oh. and bottom. That's about it. Yeah. It's like eight minute. I guess everyone should roam now. Like. <laughs> yeah. Eight. And minutes. away we go. <laughs> yeah. Pretty that much. Was, uh, it was entertaining to watch though. I mean, it's kind of confusing, but you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's uh, a little different. It's a little but, different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fun. But let's not forget about the buffs here. Our Yeezy has it, picking up that red buff. Not, not going to give it to Super Kawaii. Signing to a, uh, to keep it for his own self. But uh, I guess that, I guess that makes sense because uh, Super Kawaii's not really been in team fights here. But there's a four-man push going in mid lane uh, for uh, Layla Hua here. Let's see if they can they can shove in a mid lane turret or catch somebody out there. Looks like they might be roaming up the top lane here. Yeah, they're kind of looking for that Jax who went into the <laughs> went into the jungle, and that's yeah. unfortunate for him. There he is. Yeah. yeah, he sure got caught out. I like the double ward though. <laughs> the double ward. They wanted to make sure that they knew exactly where he was. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, the uh, there's the AOE coming in handy for Shyvana as the uh, Jax threw up the Counter Strike, neg uh, negating the uh, Gray Saiyan man getting the kill. So uh, giving the kill over to the AOE effect that uh, Counter Strike does not bother Shyvana. Which uh, she kind of needed it. She hasn't had much of a kill any anyways. But like I said, top lane, not really much happening. Destin's laying on his Brickster. He has a flash out. Flay missing. Savannah get a little overzealous <laughs> with his body slam. Not really much happening. He really actually. wanted it. Yeah. He really wanted it. He was like, come on, <laughs> fight me right now. <laughs> Which Unfortunately, no one, 
no one wants to fight, even though I, I would feel like uh, Layla Hu would kind of have a uh, an advantage here. I mean, it's 5v4, and they've got that great team fight comp. Yeah, they have the dragon, they have uh, on the hunt, and they have uh, uh, Leona here. Have but Jax is back, so yeah. it's you know five v five. It's five v five. There, it's gonna be underneath the uh, underneath Kaiser's turret. Let's see if they can uh, repel it. They have they have some decent wave clear in in the form of a uh, of uh, what was that guy's name Gragas. But that's about it as far as the massive wave clear. There's a death sentence landing on Ice Iceman. Not much following it up though. Super Kawaii taking out that white. <laughs> Never stop farming. Oh, yeah, it's the vein, yeah, like you said. Oh, my God, there's a long oh, Zenith lane. There's a two-man shockwave. Solar Flare goes down. Man drop coming down as well. The explosive cast knocking everyone from Leila Hua away. Super Kawaii picking up a kill there, as is our Yeezy. So that fight did that was, go. Yeah, that was a great explosive cast. That was a great, yeah, no, I mean, it pushed everyone towards Kaiser's tower, which I think was kind of the plan all along, and it put uh, uh, Leila Hua in a really bad position. Yeah. There's a there's Matt been split pushing here the entire actually I don't think he was split pushing the entire time he used that teleport to go bot lane take advantage of the wave here so there is the gold yeah. presence coming out from the teleport using it wisely. Eternal Blade 808, <laughs> she is running yeah. she is you know race carring her way across this map. Oh, oh cool. no, uh, they are going to be able to get Dragon. Yeah, they're getting Dragon. I'm not following that. That's that looks pretty solid. I'm following uh, Eternal Blade here because Super Kawaii trying to find him not quite finding his mark there tumbling into the bush. There's a uh, Shyvana dragoning out, dragons uh, dragoning out of danger there. So that will be more than likely a dragon going over to Kaiser. There's the dark passage. Thrust Express being ridden by Super Kawaii. Second dragon, two of three, going over to Kaiser. Yeah, it's good for them. I mean, the Kaiser, uh, they're in a relatively good position anyways. But the dragon goal definitely helps after losing that team fight. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Actually, the uh, the gold has actually swung in the favor of Kaiser. They're still down in turrets by one, still down in kills by four. But I mean, they got the gold advantage. They got they're getting the uh, the dragon control uh, so far. And yeah, that team fight down in bot lane really helped out. Looks like uh, Layla who is kind of forming mid lane. Yeah, Eternal Blade 808 making his way over there. And uh, Jax almost got that top lane, that uh, bottom lane inner turret, but uh, so it's 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 going to be down. It's gonna it's going to be only a few shots left. That's going to be something in the back of their head. And there's uh, oh they have vision on the are easy backing with that with that word there. And uh, this is what Looks you like do. Looks like they're trying to. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say you were going to point out pretty much what I was. This is kind of what you do when you have when you have a map control like this. Take the enemy's buffs, deny them, deny yeah. them, deny them farm, deny them the advantage in team fights. That's a that's a good play by uh, Leila Hua. Oh, um, actually BM'd it and left that minion there. <laughs> <laughs> no Jerk worries. move. Yeah. And uh, looks like kind of everyone's just returning back to their respective sides of the map, which yeah. is. Uh, Leaves quite a lull, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it happens. We can always look at items here. As you can see, Pantheon going pretty full offensive, as you don't really build defensive with the Pantheon. You want to get in there and just destroy somebody with your man drop and uh, your uh, stun, your spears, and your crit that you have from your Heart Seeker Strike. But, uh, well, there's a Destin. It's not quite fun in this market. So it's pretty much a warding game between the, the, uh, the supports right now. But, um, but yeah, uh, so Super Kawaii still, still trying to uh, trying to just farm anything he possibly can. Has a uh, has that zeal picked out for himself? Has the blade of the Rune King already? Looks like he's going to be building a Phantom Dancer rather than the Static Shiv, as he has the uh, the uh, what is that? Like cloak of Agility. As I know it's not the Negatron yeah. cloak. Negatron cloaks that magic is almost cloak of Agility. So it looks like he's going to be building into the uh, Phantom Dancer, get more crit power behind him. Yeah, I like the uh, Tiamat on Lee Sin. It's always good to see it again. Uh, since I've I been playing League of Legends a long time, and Tiamat used to be a very uh, un... It was an unwelcomed item. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, the Ravenous Hydra. People didn't like it at all, and it's good to see something kind of like come back like an underdog story, you know? It's just <laughs> comes back from the dead. It's like, oh man, this item's super sick now. Yeah. And it really is super sick. Um, Pantheon trying to go for his Ravenous Hydra as well with uh, Tiamat. Yeah, but, like, uh, yeah, both junglers giving pretty similar builds. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, Lee Sin has uh, our Yeezy has quite a bit more gold than uh, than uh, Daifi Ice Man 70, 7,500 to fifty eight hundred. There's quite a bit of difference there. 
quite a bit, a bit big amount of farm on uh, on our Yeezy as well. And with our Revenant's Hydra, he's only going to be able to farm faster and, and harder as well. So looks like we might be seeing a little jungle action here. Destin slain on Eternal Blade 808. There's Soul Flare not hitting anybody. That was, I don't, even Nothing. if that was a team fight. <laughs> yeah, that was an awkwardly placed Soul Flare. <laughs> Yeah, so Solar Flare is down, and that's uh, that's actually going to be pretty pretty huge for Kaiser. They're shoving in this mid lane turret, and the top oh, lane turret yeah. looks like. Yeah, Kaiser got the top lane as well. Yeah, so they're just playing it slow. It's like you said, they're uh, they need to draw it out to the mid to the late game, anyways, because of their champions uh, champions Jax and Vayne here. So uh, yeah, they're just playing it slow, trying to take objectives slowly, one at a time. I know the uh, inner bot lane turret has maybe like two or three hits on, but they're going to clump up here. There's no vision. Oh, oh. No, actually, there's vision now. Yeah. I say Destin's missing. I'm just gonna back off on that one. That's yeah, still a very dangerous situation for the most most teams right here. I mean. Yeah. Well, uh, Kaiser, or Layla Hua is or was is five. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, this this should be Kaiser's Kaiser's uh, advantage here, because like I said, Solar Flare has been down. It's going to be up in a f just a few more seconds. Actually, it still has a little bit of time left. There's Destin's landing on. He's been landing this Destin's. This, nothing's been followed up by it. Nobody's been in there to follow it up. So I feel like uh, Quesadilla, you can only do so much at this point. He needs his team to follow him up here. Yeah, there it looks like, it almost looks like Kaiser's afraid to engage. Yeah, which is odd, because well, it should have been odd when the Solar Flare was down. Looks like People are engaging now on Thresh, but he's just yeah. kind of walking away. Solar Flare is back up. They're just, I mean, yeah. this is, this, all this stalling is just, uh, just allowed Layla Hua to get back into the advantage, get back into the point where they can engage in a team fight. And, uh, I don't think, I don't think this is how Kaiser should be playing it. They should have been a little bit more aggressive. They showed the power of Gragas in his ult in that, uh, bottom lane team fight. And they haven't been taking advantage of it, so. Let's see how it works out. They are going to swing down, if, uh, Layla Hua is going to pick up the, uh, bot lane turret here. Well, at least the minions will. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> minions picking up the slack, really. Yeah, yeah. We'll just let, let him do that there. And there's the, uh, there's the pushing power of Sivir. This insane amount of pushing power. with Kind of just blade. decimated that lane. Yeah. I mean, just ricochet, boomerang blade. There's a Seasons of Umbrella landing on Savetti. And that's who you need to destroy. There's a, there's a Dragon's Ascent coming out onto our Yeezy. Explosive cask and solar flare going down. It's gonna be, I don't, yeah, our easy might be falling. It's a flash out of their safeguards out oh. as well. Going back in, Sonic Waves originally strike back into Shyvana, picking up a kill. Meanwhile, though, Matt picking up a kill onto Dyfi Iceman, a double kill actually onto Great Saiyan Man. As you can see, they're winning team fights. They should have done this a lot earlier, and this was actually a really sloppy team fight from both teams. Just individually, uh, Kaiser's a little bit more powerful. There's the, oh my god, there's the condemn into the wall. Pretty much everything exploded right onto uh, Eternal Blade 808 and uh, Super Kawaii looking to chase this one down and uh, they're signaling for Baron and Dragon but I think they might be swinging up for Baron or yeah. maybe not. I don't Well, or they're just all going to go to separate lanes. Yeah, I mean, I mean whatever. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, <laughs> man. They're Multiple just... Jexes at one time. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that was, a, that was a great team fight though for uh, Kaiser. I mean, just everything kind of went right for them. Lee Sin was is extremely tanky, and uh, he you saw him popping in and out of that battle, and he just never went down. Uh, he almost did. He actually fl had to use his flash and safeguard to get out. But yeah, he found an opportunity. Saw that he landed his resonate his uh, sonic wave onto a pretty weak uh, Shyvana, and with a resonating strike, you do more damage the lower health the enemy is. So he knew he could go back in there and get to pick up the kill. And uh, yeah, he was able to keep himself alive at the same time. So props to him for knowing his knowing how to play, knowing his Lee Sin mechanics and. Yeah. Looks like uh, Jax has finished his Triforce. He has teleport up. It's a. Uh, we'll see how he uses it here. I mean, like I said, that's the fight. I mean, that that was a sloppy fight from both teams, like I said. But uh, individually, it looked like Kaiser pulled it out there because he, uh, like I said, like like we've been saying, on the hunt with uh with the team that that uh, Layla Hua has right now. I mean, that's you kind of need all five of your members there, and they weren't there. They were all broken up, and. Um, it didn't really go so well for them. So I, I don't know. I, I hope I hope that Kaiser pushes this advantage more because I think they can win a team fight, even 5v5, if they wanted to at this point. They have quite the gold lead, 4,200 uh, 4, to 3,800. I think they could do this. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, if, if you have more gold than the other team, I mean, you can win fights, and they do really have a pretty strong team fight composition, with, at least with Gragas. I mean, his ult is, is just so good if it lands correctly. Um, 
Interesting pickup. Uh, looks like uh, Super Kawaii got another zeal. Not sure what he's building into. Might be a static shiv. Might just going for straight attack damage. Not might just be two Phantom Dancers. Yeah, you never know. He might just. Funny. He might really like it. I've seen that plenty of times in solo queue. You never really know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might be. You know, solo queue building right now. Don't yeah, worry about yeah, it. right. Yeah, it's great solo queue. And he'll build into his third Phantom Dancer and then an <laughs> Infinity Edge. I have a Master Yi running around with all of his zeals. Oh my gosh, I, hate it. I cannot stand those builds. But either way, Vayne makes a little bit more sense because it procs the uh, Silver Bolts. But um, uh, yeah, usually. Oh, oh there's Death oh, Sentence. Oh, Blade, no! Yeah. Death that sentence. was quite the Death Sentence. Yeah, like I said, he's been landing his Death Sentences pretty well. And uh, finally, there was somebody to follow it up there. Picked up a kill, mid lane turret as well. That was about the entire team to follow it up there, actually. Yeah. Jack's making his way up there now. He still has a teleport. Bot oh my god, are you easy? Oh, there's a great solar solar flare coming out. The cleanse being used by Super Kawaii. Man drop coming down in the bot uh, the behind them. There's the dragon coming out as well. Lee Sin and Saivana pick uh, pick each other off, and that will be an ace going over to Kaiser. Daifi Ice Band going down last, and that's going to be inhibitor going down in favor of Kaiser as well. I really enjoyed Aryuzi's way of initiating, which was literally just to throw his body into four <laughs> people. <laughs> And then his team is just like, all right, I guess we have to act now. Yeah, I mean, it was a... He's tanky, man. He yeah. almost survived, too. He's got a lot of health. He actually has a lot of damage behind him, too. There's all oh, Shockwave missing, body slamming out of the way. Savani did. And there's another ace picked up. This might be game, actually. I don't... I was surprised they can finish right. it. But you have Jax with the, uh, with the Triforce there. Yeah, and this is it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to pick it up. So uh, this is the best of three. Game one does go over to Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser High School. And, uh, yeah, we'll be going into a game number two.